ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನಚೋದಯಾಂಧ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಸುದೇ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮಹಾತರ್ ಬಾಬಾಜಿ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೋರ್ಥಲ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಓಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆದರ್ ಇಮೋರ್ಥಲ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ್ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಗುರುಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಗೋರಾಕನಾಥ್ ಬಾಬಾಜಿ ಮತ್ಸೇಂದ್ರನಾಥ್ ಬಾಬಾಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಆದರ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಮೀಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಇಮೋರ್ಥಲ್ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಗುರುಸ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ವೆಲ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ರಿಮೈಂಡ್ ಯು um the very basic really essential thing that a uh, case for a child is self inquiry and the main tool for self inquiry is uh, meditation of course the most ancient and the most powerful uh, meditation technique tool um, is a kriya yoga meditation but at the same time um, basically it doesn't matter what kind of meditation you practice important to practice I mean it can be vipassana meditation it can be dzazen or chen I mean any kind of um, you know sufi meditation christian meditation kabbalah meditation but important to practice in any authentic genuine uh, you know uh, meditation system is always about a wonderful journey to your you know uh, like inner space the main of your spiritual heart so actually it's self inquiry what is the nature of my consciousness what is the nature of my soul what does it mean self existence what does it mean i am or maybe i am not am i exist or maybe that's just an illusion okay any kind of question which in- includes self inquiry is through spirituality and that's that's the very foundation of any any authentic meditation system okay um why i speak about meditation and self inquiry but at the same time okay come on this video about how it is possible to meet mahatma gurus Well, the first question is not um, actually how to meet them, but are you ready to meet them? Will it be beneficial for you to meet them? Just imagine if you are not practicing meditation, if your okay consciousness, your energy, your chakras are not ready. Your well, brain, I mean you you are not ready to meet them. Why to wish to meet them? First of all you have to practice meditation I'm sure you are already keep on practicing and um, if you really really serious in your meditation then only uh, it is possible to say that it is really nice to meet that master that you will benefit out of this but um you know before uh, you become serious meditation practitioner better even not to dream about this Well, uh, my personal meditation guru whose name um, is Yogi Rama. He was born um 1923 and he left his physical body 2006. I was learning meditation of Kriya Yoga and Bija Mantra tradition and he blessed me to teach people and um, you know uh, he was um, Yogi Rama, I mean a direct disciple of Mahavir Babaji. He also spent really time back in the middle of uh, 20th century in Himalayas Badrinath and Kedarnath area learning meditation uh, philosophy and Bija Mantra tradition from uh, not only Mahadar Babaji but also Goraknath Babaji Nagaraj Babaji some other uh, immortal Mahatma gurus and some of um, okay um, disciples of Yogi Ramesh Uh, including myself we really um, uh, asked um, yogi rama this interesting question that was back in 90s 
uh, end of 20th century. I mean, <clears throat> how it's possible to meet Mahadar Babaji? What is the best way to worship to Mahadar Babaji? Okay, how can we please Mahadar Babaji, etc. And um, Yogi Rama's answer was really brilliant one. He, um, he told actually many times that, okay, practice meditation, practice Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga means um, the most ancient um, meditation technique. And um, just to practice um, the meditation of Kriya Yoga, this is the best worship to Mahadar Babaji. This is the best, best way how to establish this deep connection with um, all that Mahatma Gurus. Because I don't think that um, all that Mahatma Gurus, they need our worship, our support. No, no, that's too pity to, uh, to think in such a way. Really, uh, all that great Mahatma Gurus, including Mahatar Babaji, actually stay on this planet Earth just because of, uh, because of us. It may sound strange, but you know, compassion, love, that's the reason why they uh, remain on this wonderful planet Earth. Because they teach, um, sometimes not directly people like us, but through certain chosen devotees, chosen disciples. In 19th century it was um, um, Lahiri Baba, in 20th century Yogi Rama. I mean to say they, they teach us, they give philosophical uh, teachings and the most important, um, you know, um, techniques, tools, because um, even if you, you know, learn all ancient and modern wonderful philosophical books and okay it can be professor it can be very clever but the question is actual experience actual experience of absolute consciousness it's very very easy to say okay everything is a consciousness um, you know you can't practice meditation because you are uh, as a personality, just an illusion. You can't achieve enlightenment because you already enlightened it. So all that blah blah stuff, it's very easy to speak about. But actual experience of cosmic consciousness, that's quite difficult. Not easy one. Forget about easy shortcut. You have to practice meditation and japa, and then only step by step you can experience. Again, step by step. Just See the life of any real, real saint. I mean, real um, high-level guru. For example, Jesus the Christ. For example, Buddha. For example, for example, Ram Krishna Paramahamsa. For example, Ramana Maharshi. All of them practiced a lot. All Buddhists, Christian saints, um, you know, Vedic mystics, yogis. They all practiced. We have a huge illusion that Ramana Maharshi was not practicing. Everything happened spontaneously in his case. Okay, that's that's another illusion which people people really enjoy. But come on, guys! Uh, for three or four years, Ramana Maharshi was practicing really intensive meditation. Some people say even for ten years. That's questionable. Three or four years, maybe ten years. But we have um, two caves: Virupaksha Cave and Skanda Ashram. Uh, cave, and then we have, um, you know, all that underground part of um, um, this Arunachaleshwara temple. We have places where for years Ramana Maharshi was practicing meditation. How it's possible for the Neo Advaita blah blah people to speak such a nonsense that Ramana Maharshi experienced enlightenment something like spontaneously? Nothing happens spontaneously. You have to practice, and then as a result, that um, will happen. And all masters like Padma Sambhava, like great Christian saints, both Orthodox Christian and um, Catholic Christian, they all practiced a lot. All Buddhist masters, uh, Milarepa, etc., you know, they're all practicing a lot. So it means um, um, the best way to establish this um, strong connection with Mahatar Babaji and other Mahatma Gurus just to practice meditation. And you, you know, the tendency is very interesting, very interesting because actually Mahatar Babaji and other immortal masters, they become more available, more open. That's very interesting. Actually, in the middle of 20th century, Paramahamsa Yogananda, he published his great autobiography of a yogi and proclaimed 
openly um, about okay, existence of Mahatar Babaji. Before that book uh, came only a small limited group of highly advanced yogis they knew about Mahatar Babaji. Okay, starting with the um, middle of 20th century, okay, all esoteric people in the world, they know about Mahatar Babaji. And you know, my, um, my information as the Kriya Yoga Master is that, okay, more and more people actually um, able to meet, to see Mahatar Babaji, and all um, real cases, not imaginary one, uh, but all real cases of uh, such a meetings, it's always happen as a result of meditation. People practice meditation and then they may experience um, that sometimes Mahatar Babaji, sometimes um, Goraknath Babaji or any other um, immortal Mahatma Gurus, they may appear and give blessings, sometimes instructions, sometimes um, answer certain questions. And in um, such a cases, I always um, advise people, be careful. Sometimes it's ni nice to share with this experience, you know, but sometimes it's nice um, to keep it as a secret, personal secret in your heart, because sometimes people start to, um, you know, um, share with all that wonderful experiences and they're just losing in from, um, in energy, they're losing this blessing. So to keep this blessing with you, better to be careful and keep the sweet memory of such a meeting or maybe number of meetings in your heart, because, you know, the reason why... Uh, a great Mahatar Babaji may come to you not to, um, you know, to increase your ego. No, no, no. Just to help you in the process of meditation and self-inquiry. Of course, now we have more and more guys who uh, start to proclaim that they are um, cool, direct disciples. And such a people, you know, in India, in, in the United States, in, in Russia, in Europe, I mean, more and more people. I think we have to be careful, and of course we don't have clear proofs who are really mad Mahatar Babaji and who is just cheating. We don't have clear, you know, uh, proofs. It's just a question of your intuition more. But anyway, if if that's really part of your mission to to say openly, oh come on, okay, I, I met Mahatar Babaji, if that is part of your mission, that's okay. But basically, better to be careful because, you know, we have many examples when great masters in 20th century really were very close disciples of Mahatar Babaji, but that was great secret and only now we can speak about it. For example, Neem Karoli Baba, who was um, a guru of great um, American uh, spiritual master Ram Das, Baba Ram Das. So Baba Ram Das in, in the end of 60s, he went to Himalayas and met his guru Neem Karoli Baba. And Neem Karoli Baba was direct disciple of Mahatar Babaji, but Neem Karoli Baba himself never, you know, uh, told, never like, you know, openly, uh, um, you know, discuss that questions. We just know it because of oral tradition and I know it directly from my guru Yogi Ramach. Another great guru, uh, Devraha Baba, okay, he also was direct disciple of Mahatar Babaji but he never spoke about it. That's good examples. Even Paramahamsa Yogananda, you know, in his autobiography, he mentioned only one meeting with Mahatar Babaji. And the reason why he mentioned this meeting, because the logic was very simple. Okay, he gave the message about Mahatar Babaji, and then he really described his meeting, and then only he could say to the reader, okay, come on, I may witness myself, that Mahatar Babaji really exists because I met him personally. But you know what is reality? Reality is um, Paramahamsa Yogananda was very close disciple of Mahatar Babaji, but he um, described in his autobiography, in, in his brilliant and great book, only just one meeting. That's also a huge example. So it means well, a uh, general message um, for you um, is that, yeah, really, Mahatar Babaji and um, Goraknath and other immortal gurus, they become more and more open. And uh, the best way, the re <laughs> really the best way 
to <clears throat> establish this connection with them and maybe even um, you know if you are fortunate enough and if you are ready enough by the way you can meet them but only only if you practice meditation of Kriya Yoga deep meditation and after that um, after that events if if really a great Mahatma Gurus me come to you for a while and, and give like blessings and instructions you know better to be careful maybe you may share with this uh, you know wonderful event or events if number with certain close friends but be careful just to speak about it publicly because that may um, slightly destroy your meditation because after all we we practice meditation to experience absolute consciousness that's that's the purpose that's the purpose why all that Mahatma Gurus um, may um, may appear in front of you may come to you physically on a lucid dreams on your meditations or even physically just to support your meditation Okay, let me complete this video for today. Of course, in the end, as usual, I invite you to watch my other videos on the internet about Kriya Yoga Meditation, Bidja Mantras, Lucid Dreams, Satya Sai Baba, Kriya Yoga Masters. So, um, I invite you to watch them. I'm sure you will benefit. Okay, God bless you. See you next time.